uh, women always say they want a vulnerable guy. Oh, he's got to be emotionally available and he's got to be vulnerable. And I couldn't get with the guy and be a long-term relationship with the guy who's not vulnerable with me. <laughs> no, 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 no. And so what guys do is they come back at me and go, well, you know, vulnerability can be a strength. Fuck you. No, it can't. By definition, vulnerability is not a strength. It is a weakness. Go look it up. It's in the dictionary. I didn't create the word. You're going to come at me for redefining, for redefining hypergamy. But when I say, well, let's go look at the definition of vulnerability, go, well, you know, this is we're taking this subjectively. It's all relative. Get Jackie Chan. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's, it's like whatever you want it to be. No, 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 it's not. And the reason for why vulnerability will always be a weakness is because it is, it, it predominantly sets what your personality is. Are you this vulnerable, emotional soul? <gasps> Are you a beta? That's emotional guys, beta guys are vulnerable. They think it's a strength. They think it should be seen as a strength. It is not, not at all. But then you get these guys who say, well, you know, I, use, I, I read Mark Manson's models and he said we should all be vulnerable. And then the women dig vulnerability. No, they really don't dig vulnerability. They dig strength, especially right now. It was Royce. Chicks dig jerks. Okay. <laughs> it's not hard. To, it's not, it's, it's, uh, a, a, a very simple equation here and it's not even so much about that like it's the vulnerability side of it it's like you're trying to pretend that it's it's what's called a transvaluation thank you jack donovan for that word you want to turn the you want you want to turn the word or the term into the opposite of what its actual meaning is right well you, everybody needs to be vulnerable well the only time and this goes to the flash of alpha so now i've clarified that right <laughs> so the only time vulnerability is actually sexy to women is when they think they're the only ones that can bring it out of you. And for that to happen, you have to already have pre-established that you, your predominant character is I'm a, I'm a stoic alpha male who kicks ass, takes names, body builds, does Krav Maga, uh, former military, got my shit together. And I'm just this, I'm, I'm this impenetrable soul that only this woman here, beauty and the beast, right? Only this woman here can bring out in me. So if that's my predominant, if I'm an alpha and that's my predominant character, a personality characteristics, when I show an ounce of emotion or an, uh, just the, the, the tiniest fraction of vulnerability to the woman that I'm with, that is like manna from fucking heaven for her because she thinks she's the only one who can coax that out of you. And that, that, my friends, is superior kung fu when it comes to game. If you can do that, if you can say, well, you know, I'm not really, I'm, uh, if you can impress upon that woman that you are stoic and she has to, like, you, she, you're a challenge, you're a mystery, you're an onion, you have to unwrap all the layers and stuff like that. If she, if he, she has the impression that you're the, uh, like, she's the only one that can bring that out in you, you, you get to the point of what uh, Nick Krauser calls deep conversion, right? You get to the point where it's like she's, ride or die she is so wrapped up in the enigma you know the intrigue of what you are that when you give that little bit of emotion when you give it's it's a it's it's really intermittent re uh, reinforcement in a behavioral sense but it's a reward that vulnerability is only appreciated by women from men who are badasses who are not vulnerable who are their characteristics their their primary personality traits is invulnerability it is, it is like the uh, stoic, like I said, strength. And that, so when that guy on the very rare occasions that he does that, that is when vulnerability can be very sexy and very attractive, but it also pre, you know, presumes pre requires that you're already in a relationship with this person, right? She already knows what your character is. So for a guy, so here's the flashes of alpha connection. Okay. So when a guy is predominantly alpha and he shows vulnerability that's sexy women like that because it's like this rare thing and it may it's an ego boost for them because they think i'm the only one who can save him from himself right it falls into that archetype that mythology but when a guy is predominantly beta and he alphas up right so the other one like the other way is he's an alpha and he kind of like betas down a little bit being vulnerable if the guy is predominantly beta and he alphas up it never seems genuine it always seems like a petulant child which is exactly what jada has described uh, in, well, paraphrasing, it's described Will Smith as after the slap. He is predominantly beta. He slaps, you know, that's not you. 
what are you doing that for? You know, why are you trying to be something you're not? That's incongruent with what my perception of you is. And my perception is confirmed now you're a chump. You're a beta. You're lashing out here. That's not who you really are. Will Smith, you would have just backed down and been a pussy. Right now, so he's fucked. He's kind of like he's he's damned if he does and he's damned if he doesn't. And so at that point, you have to make the decision. Is it is a fallout worse to deal with her bullshit or is it a fallout worse to deal with Chris Rock's bullshit and the stuff that's going to come down? And clearly he made his decision in the moment. Heat in the moment. Rage. I'm not saying that there was an emotional aspect. I'm certain there was. But Will Smith's predominant personality characteristics is he is a beta. He is a chump. He will do. He pedestalizes her. Clearly he pedestalizes her. Pedestalizes womankind. Buys into all her bullshit. Buys into the Esther Perel side of things, right? Buys into all of that. And then he's going to go, then we're supposed to take him seriously as being this alpha guy that's going up there. I'm going to protect my woman's honor, my lady's honor, 